Greetings, this is Jeff Corpenning. This is the first time I have done a video and attempted to do a voiceover on the video. I've done commentaries before that were just voice, but I thought I'd try it this way. Yesterday, when I was working in Township Hall, I went by the whiteboard that has the three trustees' names and phone numbers on it, and it gave me an idea. Um, we've had a problem with the trustees' names and contact disappearing off of the window. Um, I put my business card there and it keeps disappearing. And uh, in 2006, during my first term in office, my company, Total Print Graphics, donated a sign, uh, which we'll just say the Gremlins, Township Gremlins, made it disappear. So I took the sign down, as you just saw, and took it back to my shop. Uh, I've come up with kind of a plan and here in fast motion, uh, 10 or 15 times speed on the video, uh, shows how we lay up custom computer design for cutting. First thing we do is get the dimensions of the substrate or the sign finished size, lay it out in that dimension so we can start adding the text, sizing it, moving it around to get the desired layup prior to sending it to the press. Here I'm just making some rectangles to try to get the spacing correct and so everything will lay up right when it's sent to the cutter. Once everything's all set to go, we send that to our cutter and it cuts the vinyl. So when that's happening, I'm just preparing the surface, making sure it's nice and clean and dry so it'll accept the vinyl that will be adhered to it. So after this vinyl's cut, uh, this again, of course, is in fast motion. This is called weeding, where you separate the vinyl that's been cut from part that you want to save. This process varies on time. It depends on the detail. You can see this particular line that I'm weeding here takes a little bit more time because of the small lettering and the insides of the letters that have to be carefully removed. And you can see the technique there where it says Bowling Green Township, how that technique is, is a reverse where the lettering comes out white instead of green. So the next step here is just basically cutting it out, getting a, a good measurement so everything lines up exactly where it was planned. Application tape is applied and everything is set and ready to double check to measure and then you can see that the backing is removed application tape is pressed down to make sure there's a good adhesion Just showing a hinge technique where you do one side then the other. And the last step is just to remove any little pieces of vinyl that shouldn't be there. Remove the application tape. And there's the finished sign, ready to have the elected officials put their names and phone numbers on it. That'll go in the township hall window, and as long as the Gremlins don't get it, it should last for many years. And as the names change, if the voters make those changes, 
that it only takes a dry eraser and a marker and the contacts will be there for anyone that needs to get a hold of an elected official.